Hi guys, welcome to another week in my life vlog. I have my water, I'm home from Cabo. I got back yesterday, or last night. I am so tired, but this week is going to be a really good week tomorrow. We have the launch shoot for the Okine. By the way, I was talking in the vlogs with Kit and Margo about how like my lips burn, but they looked good, and now they're at the part where they're crusty and just horrible. So anyways, I've been working all morning. I'm trying to just get some energy. Like it's just not happening. I'm going to hop on a meeting in two minutes. If you guys didn't know, the Okind is the clothing brand that one of my best friends from college, Jessica, or Jess, call her Jessica, started and it launches next month. We have been working on it actually for like 10 months now. We did not think it was gonna take this long to launch. It has taken forever. We only even have samples for our shoot tomorrow. We don't even have like our different sizes and a bunch of other things. Like we just, you know, you do what you can. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Hope you guys enjoy. It's gonna be a great week in my life vlog. Jess is seeing the final samples the first time today. The tags are what's is I know what's it's me, unreal. Everything else just feels like it's like oh this could be somebody else's clothes. Yeah. When I was out, people kept complimenting my top. I was like, thank you. I'm it's mine. It's, it's like no, like it's literally it's mine. mine. Yeah. The oh, oh my god. I know it's so nice. This is so nice. The black is so nice. Show them the tags. Do a little close up. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And I then pass my little, influencer. Um. It's beautiful. Is oh this, like, yes. 2012. Wait, this like in a bikini to the pool. Exactly. Again? Exactly, exactly. And same with the top though. That's what's good too. It's perfect. Like this is like giving Hampton's mom, like with my like tote bag to the beach. Or, Absolutely. Like, the kids to the nannies is really what I meant, but. I can't believe you made those. I know, we're like old now. I feel mature. Are you gonna cry? No, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm laying in bed because I am exhausted. Currently like lathered in aloe vera and aquaphor. Just ordered McAllister's, I'm gonna lay in bed and relax before tomorrow's shoot. I did my little like UV light face mask. I didn't vlog because everyone's a hater about it. I have a spray tan that I'm going to tonight and then honestly, I just need to check out and just relax before tomorrow's shoot which I'm very excited for. I'm not even, I'm not nervous actually at all. It's just like overwhelming because there's a lot of stuff that we need to do and it's our first one. I'm back for my tan, looking crazy. Don't worry, it's not gonna look like this when I wash it off. This. And then I'll shower in the morning and it's gonna be fine. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a haul. One of the jackets I don't have right now, but Abercrombie came out with a like athletic wear fitness line. It is called YPB. Why did I think it was your personal brand at first? Your personal best. I have talked about Abercrombie in the past probably five hauls at this point. So here we are again. We have cute little biker shorts. These are always my favorite for summer. Cute little top, like so fun. And then these perfect leggings. So I love those. I picked up a few tops. I just like, didn't have long sleeve tops and I always need them. Got a nice little blue one. I figured this would look good with my blonde hair. Do you ever just like make orders online and you're like, I couldn't tell you. Oh, now I do. This is cool. It's like this and then it opens here, wear it with jeans. I love this look. Also got this little top, which I think is so fun. This is a perfect pink mesh top, but I never know what bralettes to wear under it. I'll probably wear this in Nashville. I got this cute like pink corset top. I don't know. That is not gonna be enough coverage. There's probably no way. I'll try it on, but there's probably no way. I would do a try on haul for you guys, but not with this tan. And I got this blue top, which honestly should be big enough. I feel more confident about this one. We have a very exciting haul, everyone. So, sorry that I'm talking about the Okine so much in this vlog, but um, it's the shoot. Later on, we'll do normal things. Anyways, I mean, it's like my job. So, what do you want me to do? When we get closer to launch, I want to host a cute little, like, small dinner party type thing for some of y'all in Dallas. So, join our Geneva chat, join the Okine room and the Dallas room, and then you guys will see you there. Anyways, they sent me cute stuff to host. So, first we have these placemats. I love, if you guys didn't know, Furbish is my favorite brand for tabletop stuff. Matching coasters. Also, just the the fact that it comes in this stuff, so fabulous. Then I got these cute green napkins and then beautiful table top. That is gonna be really exciting and some of you guys will have a meal, probably like pizza honestly, but uh, with these, which is fun. So that is it for my haul tonight. I'm gonna clean up the house tomorrow at 7.30. Everyone comes over, we're getting hair, makeup, everything done here and then we're going to the studio and you guys will see. Not take myself seriously like this, but it's gonna look good tomorrow, promise. Happy Wednesday, aka 
the Okine shoot day, our very first one. My lips are still sunburned and looking rough. A little overview of what is happening this morning. We have two sets that we're shooting today. The black one is the launch one. Coco, can you just give me a sec, girl? We're doing our co-founder picks. We're doing uh, just like lifestyle. Basically the first two months of socials and website, basically any visuals that you would need. On top of, I guess the co-founder photos are kind of like for a few years, I'm assuming, but makeup and hair, coming to my house within the next 30. Dana is actually coming back. She's shooting at BTS. If you guys don't know, Dana's my old assistant. I do have a new assistant. Love them both. Dana is just doing a job that like makes more sense for her. But she is helping us shoot BTS today. I just posted at Starbucks for everyone. So I kind of need to go downstairs and like light some candles and get the vibes going. I've been listening to Token CEO podcast. I'm wearing a parade set. Oh, by the way, this is the black jacket from, I keep wanting to say your personal brand, your personal best um, that I got. It's a really nice black jacket. Like I, I feel very fabulous in this. Let me show you. Like all I could ever want is to look so fab, you know? I'm looking for a bread pudding housewife cup. There's something about a fresh spray tan. Oh, oh my God. You have it never felt hotter in your entire life. I know. The best place ever you feel hottest is like in a hotel mirror, like post beach, post yeah. shower. Well, you, you just do. I was thinking about the Cabo because, okay, RIP to my book club, Candle, that Netflix sent me. Shout out. How's everyone feeling? Yeah, <laughs> what stuff? Oh, thank the Lord. I already had a coffee this morning. Is that bad? In college, Jess would drink like actually eight cups of coffee a day. But honestly, what we were going through at the time. No, I just realized it was like depression. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're setting up for the shoot. Hair and makeup should be here very soon. We've only got two hours, and that sounds like a lot of time, but it really isn't that much time. So pray for us. Are you so excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. I actually like, couldn't sleep last night. Like, I think I'm running off of like three hours of sleep. Makeup and hair is done. You look so snatched. Thank you. Love the hair. We are on our way to the studio. We're shooting e-commerce pics, co-founder pics, and then just some lifestyle shots there. We're gonna have about like two hours, 45 minutes by the time we get there. Hope you guys are enjoying. Um, Kristen did my makeup, my favorite makeup artist. Like, oh, obsessed. She's also Preston's sister, but just incredible. Gabby did my hair, Unreal. She did my hair and makeup too, She's so good. For the Bread Bunny Housewife shoot recently, 10 out of 10. We're answering questions on the Okine Instagram. Feeling like such like business ladies. All right guys, we made it to the studio. We're about to start shooting. It's gonna be a montage. Here we are. I'm in the green set. Jess is in our black set. So cute. Kenzie's doing a little boot shot. I would say this is a lot more difficult if you would get credit. The boot shot? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Like you have to get it right, you know? Totally. So far, the shoot's going incredible though. I was really nervous, you guys, but I feel really good about it. Jess has really come out of her shell today. She was so stressed, I was worried for her, and you really did. The first 30 seconds, love it. It's fun. I want everyone to comment. Like, what's your hype up music? I put this on my Instagram story. Like, sometimes you need to listen to like One Direction's first album, you know, to like get you going. Like, I don't know what it is about listening to like same mistakes or like everything about you just like hits different. So I want everyone to let me know what their hype up music is. Someone said, someone said a Kesha song. Your love is my drug. That's a good hype up song. What's your hype up song? Um, I already have mine. Let's hop in remix. Oh right, right, right. We've really made ourselves at home. We ordered Chick Fil A. All right, guys. We just wrapped. Oh my god, I'm tired. Just really killed it. We're gonna talk about this in the podcast, by the way, because it's a great topic. Oh, now we're going to the ranch where I ride my horses. This is actually my dream shoot. Like, Heather, I've actually wanted to do a shoot with a horse for probably like six years. This is actually my dream. So, we're gonna do that, and then Jess is gonna shoot um, more of like a city vibe after. So, we're pretty much like halfway through the day, but the photos are phenomenal. This is what I'm wearing right now because we have our other stuff hung up. So, we are deciding on names. The one name that we have had since 
I don't even think we had clothes before we had the name, was that we were gonna name one of the sets the Ryan. Ryan is like one of my best friends, one of our favorite people from college. The greatest. If you guys watch the vlogs in college, if you listen to the podcast, probably obsessed with him. I still get messages about him. Yes, we are still friends. Actually, you're gonna come on the podcast at some point this year. We love him, and he is actually the greatest human being to ever walk this planet. He's actually an icon. He's an absolute icon and it only felt fitting to name a set after him. So we're gonna call him and let him know. You know how Jessica and I are starting a clothing line? Yes, of course. Okay, oh, so <laughs> do you wanna say it? Um sure. So we decided to um name one of our sets after you. The green stripe green one. one. <laughs> Is that okay? We've had this idea for a really long time and just kept forgetting to tell you. <laughs> it's like a sweatsuit? No, I'll send you a photo. Yours the green pinstripe set. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm in love. Yes. Okay, well we just wanted to get the okay from you. The okay? Yeah, just making <laughs> sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I love it. I love the shirt. I saw the shirt you were wearing in Cabo. I mean, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. No, that's yeah. the way. Yeah. 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 Now at Broken Bow, I feel like Danielle and Brooke, they always say their social battery is done. Not to me right now. I don't know what's happening, but we're shooting here with the horses. I'm thinking Annie, but we'll see. Okay, you guys, Kenzie is posing with the horse. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Are you talking to me? Yeah, you want to say hi? Like, hello. Um, Kenzie's doing her it's individuals now. This is iconic. <laughs> this is actually for this is, we're gonna make this the cover for your YouTube channel. I finished my part of the shoot. It is now Jessica's time to shine. My social battery done for. I know it sounds so stupid because you're taking photos all day, but I'm just unbelievably exhausted. Now Jessica's turn. She's a city girl. City girl, I'm a commit. Here we are, so cute. We're downtown Dallas right now. I did a shot shoot here like four years ago. If anyone remembers, no one will. I am so happy right now because we just wrapped the first shoot for the O Kind. And wow, I just want to say Jessica absolutely killed it. She was really nervous about just like photos, shoots in general. Yeah. Right? You guys, we'll talk about it. We're doing we're gonna we're do gonna podcast, talk about the podcast. But I thought I would be so uncomfortable and just not good. Like it's just it's a vibe. You gotta get in the vibe. And you know what? It changes your it just changes everything. We also have a great photographer. You guys are in Dallas. Oh my Heather's God. incredible. I and we were just talking about I, that. I actually love her. Like, I don't think the shoot would have been as good if, it, if she didn't do it. Like she made me feel so comfortable, just like so vibey. It was so great. I'm literally 10 out of 10. I love her. Yeah, I don't know if it's Cabo and then the, I don't know what it is, but like I, I think it's because we didn't eat today. It was incredible. We're gonna discuss. Okay guys, I'm back home. The shoot was incredible. It's actually, I think it just like hasn't hit me how crazy this is and how like, I really am just so excited. But I am beyond exhausted. I just, we had so much going on today. So much, you guys saw some of it. Very exciting stuff. Um, I'm gonna go through photos and stuff tonight to like just post a reel. Obviously we're not gonna do the photos like immediately. Just edit some stuff, it's 5.30. I just got back. I have a lot of podcast prep because I leave Monday again for a week and I'm doing a recording trip. So I'm just like busy, just a busy gal these days. So I've gotta get a lot of work done tonight. But I wanted to show you guys this cute little Zara haul that I have. It's really warm out, so I don't know when I'm gonna wear this. I hope it's colder in Nashville. First thing I have is this green top with these matching green pants. Like, how cute, right, you guys? That's adorable. So I'm hoping that I can wear that one day. I am brain dead today, and also I was really looking forward to door dashing a frozen bar, and then I found out you can't do that anymore. I thought you could because of COVID, but maybe that went back. Maybe I was never able to, and I'm just like losing my mind. But it's on DoorDash. I got this, which is like so cute, very like almost like chic Chanel, and I got a matching skirt that already came in the mail. I have this dress, which actually looks really large now that I'm thinking about it. Oh no, it like goes past my knees. 
So that's gonna be a return. It's cute ideally, but runs very big. And then I have this jacket top, which like I hope actually like works for Hmm, yeah, so that's gonna have to be returning a medium, but I have matching pants. So I'll figure that out tonight and then I'll get that returned and everything. Jason Tardick's book that I got early because we we're recording it next week. So I wanted to just make sure I could read it, get it down before we recorded. So anyways, I still really want a frozen bar tonight, but like I just don't think I can talk to anyone. And I just don't feel like leaving my house either. I just, you know when you're just like so out of it that you don't even know what you want to do? That's me right now. Guys, I got um, another TikTok camcorder, so. I am the target audience for that, clearly. Whew. It is later, I'm clearly in my closet. I am very anxious, I'm not gonna lie. I just feel very overwhelmed and I will feel fine in the morning and I need, it's almost 9 p.m., I need to just lay in bed, light a candle and read a book. I just feel like there's been so many good things happening in life lately. I feel like I have these chats all the time, but I have anxiety, I deal with anxiety and just like when life is really getting busy and it's like genuinely everything I've ever dreamed of it being and more, it's just making me like a little bit anxious and overwhelmed just with like how much is currently going on. Something I do to make myself feel like more, oh hey, more in control of my day and calm is I go and I plan out my outfit for the next day. So I'm gonna wear the YPB set and then as my actual outfit tomorrow, I have a few recordings. I'm going in studio for one of them and then I have a concert tomorrow night and I have this dress from For Love and Lemons and I got my Lululemon packet, or my, not Lululemon, For Love and Lemons package and it is like the most perfect dress for tomorrow. I'm gonna wear these with my black cowboy boots, but anyways, I made myself kombucha and a wine glass, which always just brings me joy. I'm gonna bring these to my room, bring my book in there, and just calm down. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, I'm very grateful, but I just don't wanna only share the good parts. Also, I have my cute K locket. I've been like itching right here a ton, but oh, I'm currently slugging. That's why my face looks like this. Um, But this is from Golden, their podcast sponsor. I have it on backwards. It's just like the most perfect everyday necklace. I hung up some new Zara stuff also. This is not a big deal at all, but the blazers, like the suits that I bought like a month ago from Zara to wear on my national trip for like all the recordings. Said they got delivered, they never did. We checked my packages all the time. There's always people in and out of my house. So I don't know if I'm getting those, which sucks, but I have like returns and stuff to do. So those are gonna be taken in. I'm obviously incredibly grateful for life right now, but I will say I do get anxious and it's all gonna be okay because I'm gonna go in my room and I'm gonna read my book. I feel like this is actually how I coped with everything when I was five, including picking my outfit out. So not much has changed except for I'm turning 25 this summer and that's terrifying. So anyways, I have a great outfit on, as you can see. Don't you guys trust me with the clothing brand? I know, probably. Um, anyways, I'll we'll see you guys in the morning. Good yeah. morning, guys. I'm listening to the Gals on the Go Cabo podcast episode. I didn't get a chance to listen yesterday. And I am sad. But anyways, um, my dad is about to come over for coffee. It's almost 8 a.m. Um, today is a busy day. I've got things to do. First off, I've got to get my nails off because they're just painful. I almost broke them yesterday. So I'm going to keep reading um, Jason Carter's book, which I finished. No, I didn't. I started last night. Um, I need to finish it by basically tomorrow um, for episode prep. I'm gonna go to Pilates. I haven't gone to an actual workout class in like a week and a half, which is really long for me. I'm so consistent, so I'm a little bit worried. Gonna do that. I'm gonna shoot some stuff for brands. I have two podcast recordings. I have some meetings, things like that throughout the day. And then tonight, we're going to see Tyler Rich at The Rustic, which you guys watched my videos like a year ago. I love The Rustic like so much. It's one of my favorite places in Dallas and I get shit on for that and I like, really don't understand why because I love it there the food's incredible get the like peanut butter pie oh my god but anyways I'm wearing my new YPB set I mean it's so cute right you can unbutton it more but this is where I'm probably gonna keep it love hello Fitzy Bob. Oh my god, he looks so big. It is now 9 a.m. I hate when my face is so much paler than the rest of my body because I just like don't want to have to wear makeup, you know? Anyways, I'm wearing my new set from YPB. Um, I have my cute little dolly mug. My dad just left. We had a cute little coffee date. How many times am I gonna say cute? I don't know. Today is Thursday. I cannot believe it's already so late in the week. I am so exhausted. I think I'm gonna go see friends on Friday night and then stay in for the rest of the weekend. My lips are still burnt. I have no food here, honestly, so I need to get my nails taken off and then go to Pilates. That's the plan this morning. 
Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna listen to a podcast. I think I'm actually just going to read my book. Oh my gosh, so that's what's happening today. We're finalizing Robin and Housewife stuff for summer as well, but we have recordings today. We have a country concert tonight. We, I mean, it's gonna be a good day. Here's day two of my hair, which like I could make it look really cute, but what sucks is that I'm going to pull out hot body. So it's gonna be ruined. So we'll see what I can do. I'm really trying, guys. Serious question, if you go to a heated workout class, what do you do other than wash your hair every day? Because washing my hair every day is so bad for my hair or just hair in general, but I just like don't know what to do because it just gets gross. So I'm gonna try my best today, um, but we'll see. I might have to like put it, I don't know what we're gonna do. I got my nails taken off. I haven't not had anything on my nails. I actually don't know. It's been probably early pandemic. I don't know what I did there. Like, what? Now I'm off to Pilates. I will see you guys after. I'm really excited, but I'm scared because literally it is taking five days off. Um, you come back and you die. So that's gonna be me today. Guys, this is my favorite dress ever. Some of you are gonna hate it because it is, you know, prairie girl vibes. I understand. Um, but I personally love it. Anyways, this is for Love and Lemons. I bought it in my newly subscription. It's so cute. Like, then I'm wearing uh, my black cowboy boots that I always wear. They're from Harley Davidson. I got them on Depop. But, like, oh, so cute. It's like 1 p.m. I have recordings and meetings until I think like 6. I'm gonna go to the studio for a recording as well. And then I'm going to a country concert. So I basically had to be ready by now. Um, I need like all new makeup. I don't have a lip product on right now, but I just need new makeup, you know? My necklace is from Golden. They are a podcast sponsor. I'm gonna put some impressed nails on, eat my lunch. I door dash for McAllister's. I have a problem. I actually have been eating from McAllister's. I get a sandwich and I get a sweet tea and that's what I have. Like, this has truly become my routine. Guys, I got these shoes because Kit had them on the trip and I was like, these are actually the perfect summer heel because they're comfortable, they're not too high, they're something I'd actually wear and they look really cute, especially when you have like colorful nail polish on. <laughs> By the way, I did an impressed manicure. Look at me go, I used to do these all the time. Anyways, they like tie up, they're just so cute and they're perfect for spring and summer. I will actually live in them, so I will have them linked below. I got them on Revolve, but honestly, this is gonna be like my go-to to the spring and summer besides cowboy boots, obviously, I say, as I'm wearing cowboy boots. Also, why didn't I replace this tile when I replaced my hardwood? These are the questions that like I just would like to ask myself a year and a half ago. This is great, it's just dissolvable CBD powder, which I really like bringing with me when I travel, so I can just like have it in my hotel room or whatever, but these are even better. They are the caliper flavored CBD powder, but it's straight to the tongue. So I love these even more. I think I'm gonna try the Cool Mint today. Oh, I am 6.5 times more absorption. That sounds actually incredible. I don't know if this is just a me thing, but hot coffee actually does nothing for me energy-wise, and I'm out of iced coffee. I know I had hot coffee this morning, but I'm tired, okay? I'm sorry. I want this, but I want coffee. So like, you know what, maybe I have, do I have this? Well, that's still hot. Sometimes I have random iced coffee drinks in here. I love myself. We have Stumptown. I just know when like the vibes are off. Like right now in my house, it feels like the vibes are off. I'm about to go record for a podcast. And then after that, I drive to the studio because I'm recording for another podcast. And then after that, I'm going to the Rustic with Alyssa, my cousin, and we are going to see Tyler Ridge, which I'm very excited for. You can always catch me at a country concert. If there's one near me, I will probably be there. And if I'm not there, it probably wasn't by choice, you know? Well, Mark Cuban came on Token to EO podcast, which is like probably my favorite podcast. I love Erica Nardini. I just think she's like, I, she is so cool, like in a way. Now that we're here, I really admire her and look up to her for many reasons, but I just think she's a really cool mix of, not that these don't exist at the same time. I'm trying to think of how I want to say this because I'm not saying that you can't be strong as a woman, that's not what I'm trying to say, but she does have this like boss, almost like masculine energy to her while still having a lot of warmth. Like there's just something about her that I find so interesting on top of obviously being incredibly successful, a genius, like whatever, obviously I'm building barstool into like what it's become recently, but, or having a large part into that. Obviously, you can be strong and know what you want as a girl. That's not what I'm saying. She definitely just has like a lot of, I feel like, masculine qualities. 
but she's still really warm. I don't know, there's something about her that is very cool and I just love her. She's one of my dream podcast guests. Anyways, I'm going on podcast recording in five minutes. I'm gonna play Taylor Swift and then uh, we're gonna get going. I think I'm gonna do a little matcha walk in the morning because I'm just tired. Like at the end of the day, I'm just tired, you know? Um, I just got a matcha to see if that would maybe help me down I'm one interview down and then I got a FaceTime from my manager with potentially insane news And then I got an email from dear media for even more insane news that now I'm having imposter syndrome of um, They want me to do a live show. I'm just like very open on the vlogs I really just like don't hold anything back or like have a surprise. I'm not a secret project kind of girl I'm a very public project like I need to take you guys with me New York. This is what we're talking about It's not for sure. Nothing is for sure, but I'm just like now convinced that like no one will come and I'm really scared real life other days I have like incredible confidence like I have no idea where it came from or even why I'm that confident and then other days I'm like um not a single person is gonna show up to the show um besides my friends and loved ones so anyways that's just today um I'm gonna do this last recording I'm actually at the studio that I use in Dallas um for someone else's show and then the country concert okay goodbye all right guys I'm back home I just recorded Alyssa's here um I look like a prairie girl but a cute prairie girl you know so we're heading to the rustic for Tyler Rich I need fried cactus I need a frozen bar we have a full buffet going. We've got some brisket quesadillas. By the way, twelve dollars for this. I'm what happened to Texas? Got some, in LA. Yeah, we got some tacos. Those look incredible. Queso. Okay, so I mean. Back from Tyler Rich. I'm wearing Casey Musgraves shirt. I have a sheet mask on. It's 10 p.m. Alyssa and I were like so tired. It's actually kind of embarrassing because I used to be um, the really fun wild one and now I'm like, I need to be in bed. I'm tired. Hopefully it's like a this week only kind of thing. Here we are, besties. I think I might sleep on the couch and I have like a fun little thing. I want to have a really cozy morning tomorrow and just kind of chill. Tomorrow I'm getting lunch, like a business lunch. I need to podcast prep all day and then I have like a half hour at like 5 15 it's friday i'm thinking i'm staying in this weekend i just am like you know when you just like have been going even though like i know i just came from vacation but you don't need like a vacation from your vacation honestly it really isn't even that it's just that i have like so many recordings next week and recording 10 episodes in a week is like really exhausting and i know that sounds really stupid to all of you guys especially as i'm wearing this sheet mask you won't know until you do it okay for the record anytime i tell a podcast do that they're like how the hell do you do that so shout out to my haters i promise you it is actually pretty difficult um but i do feel like i'm getting my personality back again because i did get a frozen mark tonight even though it was freezing um but like listen i'm dedicated to the cause i am what can i say frozen mark at the rustic my favorite place in the entire world also to my dallas people this is what we were looking up while we were there did y'all know the rustic holds two and a half times more people than house of blues dallas because i was like it's kind of weird that they have concerts at a restaurant look to the rustic turns out it holds 2500 people house of blues dallas holds a thousand crazy isn't it anyways the more you know so here i am uh thursday night discussions hope you guys are having a fab day um i know i am but uh, i know i'm probably really annoying you by messing with this mask but you know here we are update on my nashville clothes not that any of you guys care um we got it situated and they're getting delivered to my hotel in nashville on monday i'm a busy busy gal look at him guys i'm actually like just completely sober too i don't know why it seems like i'm drunk but hello fits oh he's so cute Good morning guys, it is now Friday. There's a line on my arm, just like, don't look at that. Cannot believe it's already Friday. Today, my work focus is just episode prep. I'm gonna finish Jason Tardick's book. I'm halfway done. Hopefully I can just finish that this morning. Um, and then I'm episode prepping. I'm probably gonna have to work this weekend, but that's okay. I just have a lot going on right now. It'll honestly make me feel better. I also like don't have a choice. Um, I just ordered breakfast. Actually, I've been getting, let me show you. This is the second time I've gotten this. I have been door dashing too much lately, I know, but I've just been traveling and not. I didn't grocery shop. I got this sunrise wrap with a wheat wrap. It is like a little breakfast burrito kind of thing, but it's not too heavy. It's like one of the healthy options. If you live in Dallas, have a chop shop. But there's like sweet potato in the wrap. It is so good. I'm really picky with breakfast because I either have like no appetite or I want to eat every single thing that I've ever seen. So today is episode prep. We're recording with Jason Tardick, Mallory Urban, Julianne Hunter, um, Anna Grace and potentially Shannon Ford if she's in Nashville. Um, there's some more. We'll keep it a surprise. You guys will see. Next week's vlog's gonna be really good. Fitz is here with me. We're just getting cozy. Probably gonna play Nora Jones, you know? Now I hate that light. It never ends. It really doesn't. Also, my face is so much paler than my body and I have like the biggest 
I have like been breaking out the past few weeks, months. I don't really know what's going on there, but anyways. Tan on my arms, you know, it's all, all I can hope for. Guys, here's my outfit for the day. I'm wearing my favorite jeans from Abercrombie. I wore them earlier this week. For whatever reason, my legs are sore, but I mean, that's a good thing. But I mean, I guess Pilates. I'm wearing my new heels from Revolve. They're Ray Label. Um, this top is Aritzia, Sh not shirt, um, necklace is golden and very minimal makeup. I've been using the, actually I need to show you guys this so maybe I will in the next vlog. I forget what it is, I got it in a recent vlog and then Rare Beauty Blush Always Lip Gloss Mascara, that's it. So anyways, I'm going to a little business lunch at Casina at Highland Park Village. Then I'm gonna come back, work for the day and then I have um, like early dinner reservations. I am not going out this weekend, it's just not happening. back home um, I went on a nice little lunch meeting went and got some matcha um, and now I'm just going to sit at my computer or read a book and prep for my podcast episodes but before I do that I'm gonna unbox this package from finish I'm very excited how cute I love a good hat I'm excited because these are like CBD dog treats okay I'm so pumped. CBD face mask. I will be doing that tonight. Paws off pet hotspot relief, which is going to be great because that happens to fit sometimes. I've got a nice toned down CBD infused facial mist. It's cooling, it's hydrating, it's energizing. This is really what I need. This calms, soothes, and evens skin tone after a workout or a day in the sun. I always need that. Oh my god. Lip game. Very exciting. Oh, very hydrating. These, honestly, were one of the most excited for. I also got Boundary Issues, but glycolic body wash. I always need your body washes. And then this is CBD pet oil. So I love this. Thank you guys so much. I'm excited to try this stuff out. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life vlog. I just am gonna have a very boring afternoon. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll be starting a weekend in my life vlog tonight. So I will see you guys in a few days. Bye. Wow. We have a celebrity amongst us. Wow, thank you for that. <laughs> She's a makeup artist and is like actually incredible. We're going everywhere today. We're talking about like building yeah. a business, clientele. Um, balance, working 24 seven. We're gonna go everywhere, Perfect. but we have to start with your Raya story. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is the best thing I've ever heard in my life.